I know you wonder where guitar shops get their guitars. I know you wonder who would possibly sell their guitar or their pedal or their amp to a music store. Why would you do that? Why? Because, you know, you can get a lot more money if you just sell it on Craigslist or on Marketplace or whatnot or whatever. <laughs> but a lot of people don't want to deal with those people. They want to deal with people like me or your local music store in your area. They feel more comfortable, don't they? So now we're going to go over a list of the ways we get guitars. How do we get guitars as guitar shop owners, music store owners? How do we get them? Let's go over the list right now. And you guys decide, if, is this a good idea or a bad idea for people? So these are five different reasons or five different people that sell to a guitar shop or a music store. Even pawn shops can be included in this as well. So number one, we're going to talk about our collectors. Collectors sell stuff because what happens with these people is they just have so much stuff and they just don't know where to put it anymore. It, it, it's got to go away. So they'll go to a music store that they can sell the whole entire collection to. Because you can put the stuff out on, sure, on Reverb or eBay or Marketplace and stuff and, and sit there for months and months and months, even years trying to get rid of all your stuff. Where if you just take it to a guitar shop, music store, whatever, they can write you a check or pay you cash and it all goes away all in one swoop, boom, gone. And those, those are kind of the people that we see a lot of. We see a lot of these guys that just, they just don't want the stuff anymore or they're too old to play it anymore. Um, or their wives, you know, have taken everything in their life and they're like, you're not getting my guitars. You, you took my kids, you took the car, you took the house and everything, but you're not taking my guitars. I'm gonna give them to somebody that can play them and carry on their tra tradition and maybe down the line, I can buy some of these back. So that we see that a lot. Number two are people that don't want to get robbed. <laughs> I say that a way that <laughs> not robbed by the you know music store or whatever. This is people that don't want to sell on marketplace, and they don't want to meet some guy in a parking lot or come to their house. Because you should never, ever invite somebody to your house if you have a bunch of guitars or a bunch of valuable stuff. You don't know these people. Don't open your house up to these people because just there's people out there that don't need to be in your, your business. So people will go to a music store and they'll sell their stuff to them because they don't want to meet that person in a parking lot or on the side of a county road or whatever, you know, if they don't know these people, you, you don't want to sell your stuff to these people. Just, you know, you can always, you know, come to a music store like me and we'll buy your stuff. Yes, you'll get less than you would from an individual on Marketplace or eBay or Reaver. Well, not always, but Marketplace, yeah, you probably get more money, but you do take a risk with scammers. So you just have to think about that. You know, if you've got a, a reputation with some people, sure, it's great to go sell to those people every time, but there's always the alternative. There are music stores that will buy stuff. So the next one is going to be people that are moving or people moving into the area, moving out, what it, vice versa. You know, these are people that have to get rid of stuff on their way out. They don't have room for it in the truck or a car, whatever, however they're moving. And they, 
need to get rid of it. I just had a guitar, two guitars come in right there. There's one, uh, that one, that one back there, that just came in from a guy moving out of the state. He said, I'm going back to New York. I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. So he moved back to his area and, uh, I have, you know, a guitar that he left behind. So that's, you know, a common thing. We see that quite a bit, you know, either people moving in, we get people that move down here from, you know, up north and they're like, I'm really not going to use this guitar anymore because, you know, I, I don't care about it. You know, I'm, I'd rather play golf or something like that. So we see that, which is weird. You know, people rather play golf than, you know, play their guitar, but it does happen. So that's, that is number three, four, I don't know what it is. I've lost track. You tell me. Hey, remember that if you find this video informative in any kind of way, please hit the like and subscribe button and become part of the channel's community. Thank you for watching. You guys enjoy. This next one, which would be number four, I believe, is storage units. I never thought I'd ever see this many people come in with stuff from storage units. And they say, I found this. What can you give me for it? I looked and saw it's worth this. Is it really worth that? And we see a lot of people that will, that will bring in guitars, amplifiers, pedals. I mean, I've got some tremendous pedals out of some of these units. Also, I, I remember I bought a, a, a super lead out of one of the storage units. This guy came in, he goes, once you come to the unit, check out these guitars, these amps and stuff and see if there's anything you want. Went there. There were a couple guitars, you know, a Strat and a Telecaster. And then there was this amp that was turned around and I saw the back, I said, hmm, super lead. And I turned around, sure enough, nice Marshall super lead from the, it was a 68, I believe it was, if I remember right. It's been many years since I bought that amp. So, but, you know, they do exist. There are people out there that do find this stuff in storage units, which I couldn't be that guy sitting there bidding on all these storage units. I don't know about you. Could you do it? Could you sit there in the morning or afternoon and, yep, like that one guy, Dave Hester, yep. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not that guy. I like it when they do bring it in, you know, they drive in, some of them will drive in with a, a van, not a van, but a truck, and they'll just have stuff stacked on top of each other, and they'll say, I've got something in here, and they'll whip this guitar case out, and they'll say, you interested? And I'll say, yes. So, that's number four. Number five is deceased people. Yeah, unfortunately, this happens uh, more times than I like to admit. Uh, we are actually next to a cremation place. Yeah, that's how crazy it is. So we get people that will come in here that, you know, their father or their grandmother has died and they need to get rid of these uh, items they left behind. And guitars are a thing up on the list. Amps as well. We have bought several things. I bought a Fender Jaguar from a guy one day um, that his father had passed away and he said, don't forget the amp. I'd get the amp as well. So yeah, I hate when I have to do that because I mean, there are several, I mean, several guitars, like the guitar right there, that is from a, a deceased friend of mine that died um, probably a year ago and it's still here and you know <laughs> these are souls in here i'm telling you you know when you get rid of a guitar uh, from a lost loved one i kind of think maybe some of their soul has kind of possessed that instrument yeah i'm weird that way but um i don't know but you how about you you feel that way <laughs> leave a comment let me know 
And uh, anyways, so deceased people, we do get collections or just individual island items from these people that have passed on. Number six is extra credit. And this really isn't a uh, selling one. This is uh, one that I think a lot of guitar players, bass players, drummers, whatever, all do this. You know, I really didn't bond with this guitar. I'm gonna go trade it for something else. And trading is another way we do get guitars and amps and whatever, pedals, uh, just because you get bored of stuff. So you go off and you trade it for something else, or you walk into the shop and you go, oh, that guitar is awesome. I gotta have it. What do I have that I can get rid of to get that guitar? Happened just a little while ago, a guy came in with some guitars and traded them off for a Les Paul that I had. And that's just the way it works. So if you have found this video informative or anything else, you liked it, please hit the like and subscribe button and, and please become part of the Randy's Guitar Ag channel. And uh, we'll see you next time. And uh, you guys have a great one. And so long from the Sunshine State, as Gordon Soule used to say.